stay grinding, not just the labels, the way of life. New England's finest is in the house. Omega Red, holla at your red negro. <laughs> <laughs> Omega, so so people that don't know Omega, you know, I've been talking to him for a little bit, mm -hmm. and um, tell them tell them where the name came from, because this was kind of crazy to me, because I right, didn't right. even know this myself. I didn't know. Well, this myself. tell them what this is about. <laughs> All right, we, let's, we're gonna sum it up real fast, and we're gonna be here forever talking about my, uh, you know, stories. I got stories. All right, so Red is just my nickname. Everyone know me as Red because I'm just I'm I'm, I'm black, I'm African American. Native American and Irish. Uh -huh. So I have like, you know, you see me, I got, you know, I have race, uh, I have like red facial hair and I got like kind of a, you know, Indian kind of undertone, red undertones in my skin and stuff like that. So that's where red came from. When I was born, I was really white with fiery red hair. My father didn't even think I was his kid. <laughs> <laughs> no, for real. Like seriously, like they had, everyone had doubts like, yo, um, uh, we think something happened here, <laughs> but you know, as I got older, you know, I you know, I got darker, or whatever. But that's where the name Red came from. Mm. Now Omega came from when I was incarcerated. I did um, three and a half years in jail, and I used to lift a lot of weights. I got kind of big and husky, so OG cats used to call me Omega. They was like Omega, Omega, you know, and I was just like, uh, that's kind of sketchy. So. You remember that D, right? I was, I said, I called D. I said, Yo, D, I'm gonna call my. I got a new name for myself. I'm gonna call myself Omega Red. And um, I looked it up in the dictionary, and it also meant something big is coming. But it's also the last letter in the Greek alphabet. Right. Yeah, so, right, right. the beginning and ending. So, right. I kind of felt like, okay, this is my life. You know, I, it's the beginning, but ending, it's the beginning of a new life and the end of an uh, old one. Mm -hmm. You know, so it all kind of coagulates. You know, it's all kind of, it all kind of like weaved together you know, in my life. It was like, a, you know, it was kind of crazy. It's like, this is what it... My, it, build, it builds you who you are. Yeah, but, it's, right. but it was like kind of um, divine intervention. Right, right. Because the OG cats would kind of... They would look at me different in jail. Because I wouldn't really... I didn't really mess with a lot of cats that were really doing being knuckleheads. Because I felt like being in jail, I, said, I felt like I was being stupid because I got, I got caught up in a situation. Yeah, and I, and I just... You were in a corner. You felt like you were a little kid in a corner, right? I felt stupid. Yeah. You know, I felt like I made a bad mistake, which, you know, we all make mistakes, but I felt like I didn't belong there. Right. I felt like there was something I was destined for more. Mm -hmm. And I seen dudes come in six months, they get out, and they come back like another two months, taking advantage of, you know, their freedom. Right. And I was like, man, I want to get out of here, man. I don't want to... Why would you want to come back here? This is not <laughs> somewhere you want to be. Right, right. You know? Right. So, you know, I kind of felt like... Uh, I had to go there to kind of like reinvent myself as an artist, which I'm still reading. Well, I, I just did another, I just reinvented myself again, but from that transition from the underground rapper. And I heard it, that's all I gotta say. Yeah. We can't talk about it. It's, it's a secret. <laughs> yeah, it's a secret. But from, from the underground rapper as Eulogy, when I used to run around, I used to run around with Crump Snatcher back in the day. Yeah, and I remember. Yeah, I, remember I used to run around with his that. crew and everything shout like out to that. The wolves, shout yeah, out shout dramatic. out to the Wolves, you know what I mean? Shout out to all of yeah. them. I know Dramatic, he knows me. I know Crumb, I know all of them. You know, they all know what's up. So, you know, I went from the transition of uh, running with them, underground rapper Eulogy, to Omega Red. Right. And Omega Red is the, my identity. You know, so that's where it came from. So that's what's up. That's what's up. I know that so was a little Toronto story. So, <laughs> so let's talk about how long. I mean, Omega Red used to do a lot of stuff around here. So for yes. those who don't know who Omega Red is, all right, Omega Red used to do a lot of stuff up here, and he was actually one of the first Massachusetts big MCs to actually come to New Hampshire. Besides, like, Crumb Snatcher would come through once in a while, but you came down here a lot, like yeah. a lot, a lot, showing a lot of love, mm -hmm. and um. So tell me where you actually been, since you ain't been here. <laughs> I mean, man. I mean, I, for, I took a little break. I, actually, I went to school. Oh, okay. So I went to New England Institute of Art. Oh, okay. And I got my associates in audio and media technology. Uh, All right? Uh -oh. So, <laughs> you know, I became a triple threat. Right. So, because I was like, you know what, I'm not going to... um. I've been dealing with a lot of engineers, man, and you know engineers can be slick sometimes. They'll they'll tack on some hours for stuff that they didn't really they didn't do. do yeah. Or they, if you're not knowledgeable of of what they're doing, they could just say, oh, it takes about 20 minutes to do this, or it takes about a half hour to do this and that, and it didn't take only t only took them but five minutes, yeah. and they, you paying them an extra 50 bucks. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I said, you know what? I need to go back and just really study this this engineering game so I can be knowledgeable of what it is that they're actually doing, so they can't think that they're fooling me right. and tacking on more hours for stuff that only took about 10 minutes, right. you know? So, went back, did that. Um, from there, my transition from Boston to New York City. Moved to Brooklyn. Mm. Moved to Brooklyn, New York. From there, being in Brooklyn, New York, I got all my contacts um, 
that I'm working with right now. Actually, I did, I got some contacts, but I landed uh, I landed a, um, a, a, I landed a, I pretty much I got I landed a publicist. And um, I'm not gonna say her name because she's kind of she likes to be low key. Quiet. But yeah. <laughs> she's she pretty much she pretty much runs the publishing. I mean the the publicity game in the right. hip hop game. You know what I'm saying? She used to be Jay Z's publicist. Okay. You know what I'm saying? She still has that relationship with Jay Z. And that's why I said you remind me of Jay Z a lot. Well, a she lot. that's what she said. That's a what she lot. that's what she said she liked about me. But I I reminded her of Jay. But my style. The way you rap my is style is much, from Jay, but yeah. Your whole swag and everything she like that. She said it's much broad. Right, 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 right. So she yeah. said that, and she said, but you're broad, like you, you have a broader spectrum as an artist. Because right. I'm a musician, you know yeah. what I mean? Um, I'm not taking that. nothing away from, I'm not taking nothing away from Jay Z. Like Jay Z is a great artist, yes, yes. you know. But I feel like I have a lot to offer as a, as a. I'm not just an art, uh, artist. I'm an actor. I did um I did a film with um Leonardo DiCaprio and Mark oh, Scorsese directed what was it. That? It's called Shutter Island. Oh, you were Shutter Island. Yeah, I played an orderly. You only see me for a split second. I, it's, don't find it, we, guys. Everybody. <laughs> yeah, but I but I, but I, but I was there. But I was there. I was there for like two, I was there for two weeks shooting. You know what I mean? I got to see like the movie Magic, man. And it's and I was like, to be honest with you, I, I don't want to swear because I know we can't swear on air because you know. But I was like, how the f did I get here? Because I went and tried out. Actually, shout out to uh, Jay Tronius. Cause he he's the one that actually brought me to the casting call, mm. and I got called back, and I was like, oh man, I got called back, man, this is crazy. Yeah. So I went there, and um, I was there for like two weeks shooting with this dude, and Leo, 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 um, Leo, um, Leonardo DiCaprio, man, he's a, he's a cool cat. Yeah. Like a lot of people, a lot of people don't know, man, he's a really cool, man, down to earth, dude. Really? Like I didn't, I talked to him, he would say what's up to me. A lot of, a lot, a lot, there was a lot of brothers there, whatever, but they was like kind of showboating mm. and trying to like. Act like they're important, like dude, like dude, you're just a uh, extra man. Like, <laughs> like I, I can't be showboating and I'm an extra. So I was just like quiet, kind of just chilling. And he would always, every morning, he would see me. He'd be like, "Hey, what's up, man?" I'd be like, "Hey, what's you know, chilling? What's up?" I was because he seen that I kind of withdrew myself from that crowd that was trying to like show. But I'm like, "Dog, you're just a yeah. just extra man. Like, don't try to act like you're a superstar, man. <laughs> like for real, it's not that serious." Yeah. So. That experience was, was good because I got to see um, I got to see Martin Scorsese and how he maneuvered and how he moved and you know he was really an interesting little guy. He's really short. Oh really? Yeah, I really know. short, really short. But he's real. Pictures, inter- he's always looking. Yeah, he's he's really short, but he's an interesting guy. And he was like kind of be honest with you, I'm, I'm gonna give y'all some inside stuff. I'm gonna tell you, he was kissing Leo's butt. <laughs> he was kissing his butt. Yeah. But you know, but Leo is a. You well, know. I know, I know, I hear a lot of things about Leo. Like Leo really knows what he wants to do as an actor. I watched him, man, and he he's really into his game. Yeah, he's really he in really his zone. Gets, yeah, that's what I hear. He's really in his zone. He he yeah. smokes uh he smokes he smokes Marlboro Lights. I didn't know he smoked either, but he smokes Marlboro Lights, and he's sitting there reciting. He has a little paper. Like you see him acting, and you you don't know it, but he pull out he pull out a piece of paper, and he was like this sitting here like, like he's really serious. Yeah. And then he'll get into the scene, and I'm like, wow, this dude's. Like this dude's, yeah. I was like, wow, this dude's crazy. So I mean, that whole movie magic thing, I was just like, wow. Like I'm looking at the tarps and the cranes, and you know. And then I seen the movie. I'm like, wow, this, they really put this together. So that was a that was a great experience for me. All right. So from there, all right, then I went and did a film this last summer with um, um, Lil Duvall, the comedian, Lil yeah. Duvall, um, Devin the dude, and it's starring um, uh, Eddie Griffin. It's called Hillbilly Highway. Oh, okay. Um, shout out to uh, Shauna Tinsdale because she actually got she got me down there in Atlanta to do. Uh, she was she, uh, she was a stylist, a stylist. So she yeah. she called me and my partner Pitt down to be in the movie and network, and um, I play a DJ in a um, strip club. How oh, ironic! Is that, is that <laughs> but and um, I'm a, It's crazy. It's, it's crazy. It, it's, it's crazy. <laughs> so. So that was so that was the experience. So I got a cameo with that. So that's gonna come out soon. It's directed by Coke Daniels. He shot the uh, he shot the video for me, uh, the end remix with Detail. He shot that video. So oh, shout okay. out to Coke Daniel. And you know, I mean, so I've been moving around, man. So I just been in New York, you know, and I've been actually in L.A. a lot too. Yeah, you told me that. In Miami, yeah. you said you were in Miami. Miami too with you Detail. Yeah, Miami. Detail. Shout out to Detail. He brought me to Miami. Brought me to Hit Factory. You know, mm. put me around the heavyweights. You know what I mean? And I mean. I, what can I say, man? I'm just blessed, man. So tell, just, tell them, a lot of people, if you don't know, even I didn't know this too as well, you play instruments as well. Yes, I play instruments. I play drums. I play keys. But my main instrument is the one that I really honed my skills on. It was a saxophone. Really? So Yeah, I'm a crooner, man. 
So you like I'm like the rap crooner. You're like Bill Clinton on that. Nah, man. I'm, <laughs> nah, not Bill. Not Bill Clinton. I'm more like they call me. They used to call me Young Coltrane, John Coltrane. Oh yeah. Yeah, because I used to play yeah. in a jazz quartet and I used to travel. He witnessed this. He knows. I used to play. I used to get teased too, man, playing saxophone. But whatever, man. Like I didn't care. But I used to travel uh, and play with a jazz quartet. And we used to travel around the country. So you were yeah. definitely in tap with music. I yeah, mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Shout out to um, uh, shout out to Lisa Pimentel. She was my jazz band teacher. I'm still in touch with her to this day. She lives in Woodland Hills, oh, wow. in California. And I just seen her actually when I was in uh when I was out there. So, you know. Awesome. So I keep in touch with all the people that were like inspirational in my life. And I noticed that like you always you always hit somebody up. Like you don't forget a person. Nah. That, that you know that helps because you in your way. exactly. And I've always noticed that about you. Yeah. There was a lot of, you know what I mean. I appreciate that, man. I appreciate that. I just, I try, I just feel like, I just feel like, you know, people that made an impact in your life, you should let them know that, you know what I mean? Because not, because not everybody has a gift in what way. They may love what they do, but they don't have that gift to kind of, you know, so I want people to vicariously live through me, you know? So that's my whole thing. And, and yeah, I keep it real with people. I'm more of, I'm more of like, I'm not, I'm not going to say I'm a material, we all can be materialistic, but at the same time, I want, I want to have meaningful friendships and relationships. Right. You know what I mean? That's what's important to me. Right, right. You know, so. That's what's up. Um, so w- what can we look for in the future? You know what to look for. You already no, know. I already know. Hey, <laughs> so hey, you try hey, to sit y'all up, listen, people. Listen, like, you said, <laughs> hey, like, like, like you said, right? <laughs> may be old to us, but it might be new to them. <laughs> right, 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 right. <laughs> I mean, you got to, I mean, you're looking out, you're, you're going to be... N- the red October is coming soon, man. And it's going to be the red nation. It's going to be red nation, man. After that, because I'm trying to put new England, not just Boston. That's where I'm from, but I'm trying to put new England on the map again, where it's like, we're respected as artists. I don't want it. And anybody that's from new England, you want to work with me, you want to do something with me, we can do it. I, I'm not, I, I, I don't care, man. If you got like solid material and it's I'm gonna start ringing like crazy in about two seconds. Whatever, <laughs> whatever. I'm just saying, if you, if, if I know that you're serious, if I know that you're serious and your 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 music is up to that point, up to that level, you know, we can do something. We can do it. Features, all that. I got you. You know what I'm saying? Because I want to work with people from Boston and New England and wherever. I want to work with people. I want to help because yeah. the more I help, the more it helps the whole the whole state, the whole right. the, you know the whole New England. It's a movement. It's I a mean, movement. That's how you got to look at the South. That's how the South got look, where they're at. Look they at, did it together. Exactly. Like a lot of people be hating each other, but if, if they just squash the hate, you just bring an uprising. Exactly. I think people understand that. Exactly. I mean, you know what? And I try to work with a lot of artists out here in the past, man. And you know, some I worked with a few people. Some people worked with me. Some people didn't. I don't know if it's they feel threatened by me or because I because I'm really a musician or. You go yeah. hard. That's what I mean, I go hard. <laughs> yeah. I, I do go hard, but you know, right. there's no reason. Like you can, I can learn stuff from you just as well as you can learn stuff from me. Right. So I mean, I, I know my swag is off the roof, but you know, that's no reason. Like if you're afraid I'm gonna steal <laughs> your fan base, you know what I'm saying? Then you don't need to have them in the first place if they're gonna cross, you know. Saying if they're gonna cro- leave you and go to me, you, well, you don't need them. You need hardcore fan. I, I, you want a hardcore fan base that's gonna stay with you forever. You know what I'm saying? Even if they like another MC, it doesn't. You know, don't feel don't feel threatened that oh, if I do a record with Red, you know, my maybe my fans will think he's nicer than me. So what? But they they start with you. So if they're really there with you, then they're gonna stay there with you. Right. Exactly. You know what I mean? Right, right. They're just like me now. Let's right. cross promote. We can join our fan bases together. Yeah. <laughs> like, I got no problem with that. This, yo, this, how many people in this world? Like, 100 trillion billion? Like, come on. Are you serious? Are you that, are you that trying to hold your, are you trying to really hold your fan base that tight where you don't want to expose them to something else? Right. Come on, man. Nah, man. I'm a, I'm a world traveler, man. I used to be in the Air Force. I traveled to see the world, man. And I did that before I even started rapping. So I got, you know, I did a lot of stuff, man, before, you know, I even started doing this, man. You know what I'm saying? So it's, it is what it is, man. You know what I mean? Just, Let's work together. That's all I want to do. Okay. Let's work together and let's grow. So, um, but where, where can we mostly find your music? Like, I want to know, like, for the people that are listening, I want to know, you know, how can they find you? You know, what what websites they, they best can, to find you at? They can go on all the so, so, uh, the social medias. I'm on Facebook. You know, what I'm saying it's just Facebook Omega Red. Mm-hmm. Um, you can go on Twitter. Follow me there. I'm always updating Twitter. I'm always on Facebook. You go on my fan page right. on um, my fan page on Facebook. Um, I got a single right now. It's on iTunes. We're gonna play a little bit later. You can go on there. I got a website. It's uh, staygrinding.com. That's S T A Y G R I N D I N dot com. You can go on there. Oh, you got actually. You know what? Just Google Omega Red. That's what I was Just say. Google Omega Red, and everything's gonna pop up. Now, my name is spelled differently than. It's not Omega Red altogether. It's O capital O apostrophe 
capital M E G A R E D. Now the reason why I put the apostrophe there. Don't mess with people. Not to mess with people. <laughs> not to mess. Not to mess with people. The reason why, because when it first would come up in the Google search, I mean the Google search, it'd be uh, X Men, right? Yeah. <laughs> so I'm like, man, I gotta do something about this, man, because yeah. I'm getting drowned over here in Google. So I put the apostrophe there because it separated me from that, and but also the Irish heritage, like O'Malley. Oh, okay, okay. O'Connell. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So, I, you know, I got science to what that's I do. Crazy, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, that's, you know. That's cool. That's cool. Yeah, definitely, so. Definitely. All right, so um, we're going to play some Omega tracks, um, you know, and then we'll come back. Anyone, you got any questions? I wore them out, man. I thought you were going to give me an interview, man. You no, said no, I'm gonna, gonna you said you going to twist it up for me. We're going to come back. We're All right, let's back. do this. <laughs> All right, you see this? I'm already getting slammed <laughs> on right now. All right, so we're going to play some music by Omega Red, and we'll be back. Um, Dan, you got that? Yeah. Yeah, I'm ready to go. Alright, let's up. We all we all like really into this right now. Okay? Let's go. Alright, we're gonna listen to Omega Red, listen to it. Definitely, definitely call us. If you have any questions, 971-225-5879 is the number to call. 879 I'm SIC. I want my man DJ Danger Omega Red and the people in the building. Let's Stay go. grinding. Uh-huh. <laughs>